last scenes. This is Lisa Marie of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. We are doing some exciting things around the house today and I wanted to share with y'all. So let me let some of y'all get on so y'all can see all the things we're doing. I gotta make some decisions about some curtains. We are, y'all, my, my, you know what? I, I kinda, I kinda miss my, uh, what was those beautiful tablecloths, but I'm having more made. I'm having more made. So it's gonna be nice because I need tablecloths and I also need some spoons, but I can have the guy make it for me. So these are some of the spoons and forks that I bought before, but you can see scale wise, they're just too little. Not that I couldn't eat out of them, but I think they're too small. So I'm gonna have the guy that makes these bowls make me some wooden spoons, forks, and knives. Okay, maybe not knives, but wooden spoons and forks so we could do some. But for now, I could eat with this. So don't look at this, but we are. Susie's coming over, remember Saturday, to measure this for a tablecloth. I want a tablecloth for that. I'm gonna get standard ones as well because I wanna sell them. And then of course, measure this for the tablecloths. Let me tell you about the beauty. So remember, we got the red, yellow, and green Ghana colors, flag colors for the chairs in here. And then remember, I had these red, red, yellow, and green, uh, we're gonna call them, you right, spice or tea bag holders. That's what I'm using it for. Actually, this one here is holding my hibiscus tea bags. And one of these now is holding my dandelion tea bags. So this is what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna have Kwame, first of all, don't forget, we're painting the kitchen yellow. Okay, I'm gonna have Kwame put nails up there and then I'm gonna hang, cause I, I like these over these. I'm gonna hang these, they're gonna hang, they're gonna be against here, but they're gonna hang. And so I'll be able to easily, red, yellow and green, against this wall. So we'll put the nails on the wall and then we'll hang these beautiful baskets from them. And this way I could use them to hold my teas. Uh, I'm gonna see if they got the Dawa Dawa in the tea bag as well. Or, you know, people hold their spices. Mine's gonna be tea, because I have tea all the time. And I think that'll look so pretty here with the yellow walls. So the painting's not going today, but those are going up today. So that's what we're doing, and that one's already up. Okay, there's a lot of work to be done here. So it's gonna be drilling soon. So it's gonna be real construction going on. So this is the thing now, let me tell you what. So those are the rods and Kwame's going to polish the rods. And then those are the, uh, those are the rod holders right here, right? So what's going on? This window here, this window here, okay? This is the window inside the hall. And then that window over here, same thing. This window over here is another window on the side, right? So this is the deal. So I switched things up just a tad bit. I took the uh, calabashes out of the corner. Let's talk about this for a second. Cause I, they too, they squeezed, they were squeezed in the corner and the beautiful feathers that I have in the calabashes, you couldn't really see them cause they couldn't spread out. And yes, I'm painting the walls, don't worry. I promise that's coming. But anyway, uh, so I'm gonna get some more cylinder shape. They got some beautiful vases out here, y'all. That is gorgeous, handmade. I'm gonna get some G. I mean, I'm gonna get some. Actually, no, I'm gonna get some made with the beauty, the comb, and thinker symbol. Cause I don't have enough. I don't have any of that in the house. And I'm gonna get some nice cylinders, and then have some beautiful. And I'm gonna see if the guy has the peacock feathers, cause he was out before, but he might have them now. And I'm gonna get a nice cylinder and get it high and have the peacock feathers coming here because we need something slim here. And I'm gonna get the perfect art piece right here. So let me tell you, just for fun, I decided that since we got this Ashanti thing going on here, I wanted to kind of a play on and I changed and I put the stools here instead because now we can actually have people over in the living room space and we have the Ashanti stools or so much. It's a shape in the Ashanti stools. I mean, that's gonna be beautiful. But the cylinder type vases with the G Nami maybe on one and the, and the beauty symbol and Dinka symbol or both. And then a beautiful, beautiful, I haven't found the right art piece. That's why it's not there. And I also want something artistic. I'm gonna put something here as well. So now I switch that up. I think that looks so much, I like that. So let me tell you what prompted. 
I thought the two chairs that was there, they were just sitting there. They wasn't really doing anything. And I wasn't happy about that. So I decided that I put the, these on these wonderful and then crystals, put the um, calabashes on and now look how bright and pretty. It's a little visual interest. It, it looks good, you know, I like this. So this is the deal. So you see the two bathrooms, that's where the bath house and that's the toilet room. I want, uh, yes, thank you, Marquis Mark. So yeah, so I want this to be covered. I want to put fabric up here. So Kwame created the rods for this door and this door, right? Because I want the curtains, I want curtains there. Go, Kwame, you just do your thing, don't worry. So it's gonna be a little noisy, but we're gonna be moving around the house. And, and so also, he made the rods for this one as well. So let me show you my dilemma, right? So originally, I, had, I have the curtains already. I'm gonna go show you the curtains, and I'm gonna show you my vision of where I was gonna put the curtains and where I was gonna put the other curtains. But then things changed. Let's go to the curtains so that you can see what we're gonna do. Oh, so let me tell you what I did. Remember the blue, the chairs here that had the blue in it and they was just sitting here and I was just like, oh, no, nah, no, nah. they just can't sit here. That's not gonna work. So what I realized was I switched the, thank you, Elizabeth. I switched, remember I had these two Ashanti stools. That's before we go there. These beautiful things are actually, I remember I had these made with cane people. I had these beautiful shades made. So these shades are going, they go just like that. You put the string, the wire, and then the light bulb there, and then they shade. They're actually going to go in the bathrooms because the lighting here is not so great. And if I put them anywhere else in the house, it would make it darker. But the bathroom is going to give it a nice mood and it's going to make it pretty. So it's going to be dope. So these two shades are going into the bathroom ceilings. So let me show you. Yeah. So this, uh, let me get out of Kwame way, because Kwame is working. But there's a light bulb and there's a light bulb. That's where they're going. Okay. Let me show you what I was going to do. So for the window on the outside, remember this window, we gotta have two panels and we're gonna have two panels of curtains. Now just look at the blue and look where I was going with this. I was going to take these curtains, my first curtains that I ever had. I have six panels, so it'll be easy. So these curtains, and this is, let's go put it near the wall. Why does this one, yeah, so you can see it. So I don't have to buy any curtains because I have them. And I'm gonna be selling all these curtains and more. So picture this, y'all. Picture that, New Yorkers used to say, picture that. Okay, picture this beautiful fabric, stunning fabric. I was going to have the fabric, I mean, I said it was, and I'll tell you what I mean. Look how pretty that looks against, like that's, y'all can just see the gorgeousness of this fabric against the wall, right? That fabric on that window, two panels, two panels, right? Now I got six, so that would be four panels, and then I would have two more left. Now each of the doors, they, they were going to require two panels as well. So I couldn't do the blue throughout. So I had another idea. I said, well, what I'll do instead is for the bathroom, either I'll get from, I'll take, remember I got these that looks like this, that goes with the sheet. But the sheet set in the bath, bathroom, when I put this on the, on the windows and the sheet set, it was just too overwhelming. So I did something else. So I was gonna take two of these panels or four two and two, so I got six of these as well, and then do those for the bathroom, which would be nice because it won't be all so blue, and it would then tie into the Kente uh, dining set. You see, so the two orangey Kente on that, and then the four, two and two of the blue panel. But wait, this is what's happening. And now my whole mind has changed. So, as you know, let's go see, as you know, hey, I'm good, thank you, how are you? As you know, I am getting, because I've been, this was going to be the original, let me just go back, this was the original sheet, first sheet set that I wanted. Because, again, it was inspired, so let's just take this out. So, you, as you can see, they're the same as the curtains. I had gotten the curtains done first. 
And then I was like, oh, wow, the curtain's done. Hey, how cool. I, good morning, Blossoming, Yana. So I was like, oh, how cool. And I had the curtains. Y'all see the curtains? The curtains are over here, right? And they were, I was like, oh, those curtains, dope. Mm, curtains, yeah, how cool. Oh, let me see, it's the laundry woman. Oh, no, Kwame. So the curtain, so I was like, oh, I want to make sheet sets. But when I went back to the one when I bought the fabric, the sheets was out. Do you know she just got the sheets in? This is about a month or so. And yeah, I just picked them up yesterday. Hooray, I can make the sheets. This is what my mind was thinking, right? Hooray, I can make the sheets now. So now it's like, do I want to do these sheets and then put my curtains back up, which means all of those curtains, the blue ones, would be back on a wall. Four panels here, two panels there. That would be six. And it would be matching. It would be that, and then it would be the match. Now remember, I tried that before with this set and then the curtains that I made, and they were too overwhelming. But this is a this is in Dinkra. It's a heavier pattern. I'm one, I'm thinking this with the magic curtain could be pretty. Okay, let's go back. But this is what that would mean. That would mean then that I would have to take these. I have four curtains up here, four panels, and two there. I hope that y'all, I hope you're following me, this is. So I have four of these and four of these. Would I now have to take these off this, put them outside instead, and take the ones that match and put them in here? But remember, the ones that match, I had the idea that I was going to put those here up on these walls, two and two. I would actually have two left. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do. Or should I just know that, I guess I gotta make these first and see if the, cause I can always switch around and it would be matchy matchy. Would it be too matchy matchy or would this matchy matchy be really beautiful? Because I mean, this can still go with these and then the ones that match this can still go outside. But let's just say I took the ones that match this, changed this, and then I brought these out, these out on the other side. Now let's just think about it. I mean, it's hard because I don't, I mean, it's on the thing. How would that yellow wish, so there they go. How would that yellow, blue, and white go? Would that be a nice fit? Or is really that one, that curtain there, like my original plan is the best option, which means that I don't, it won't be matching the, the, the set. What y'all think? Another thing while you're, you're chewing on that is I took those chairs that I felt like were just standing still, like not really doing nothing in there, and I just put the chair here, because uh, of course it goes, and then I don't know, you know, and then I put the other one, it works perfectly on the vanity set, which actually doubles as a, a working desk as well so that's so nice that the chairs are versatile and I can always change them back again but let's see let me see if I sit here <laughs> works just as good as the stool so the chairs I think in here is nice and then I'll show you the back remember I had the Ashanti stools that's out there that looks pretty I had the Ashanti stools one of them here and the other one that I'm, I would be sitting on I think this is fine. And it gives me a chance because I'm not using these, so now I can use them. And the Ashanti stools go with the Kente. So what it, I love these bright curtains here. That's the re reason why I chose these curtains were because they were so bright and yellow and it's just the sun comes in. And would that go with that? Should I just stay with the plan to keep those curtains that match those? Basically, it's going to be the sheet set outside. Or should I think about taking these? Cause I don't want to go with all of these. I need that blue in there. So, but these, but the, the two uh, curtains that match this, this is just gonna be taken off. And when I switch it up, I'll switch it up again. It's gonna go in covering the kitchen. I mean, covering the, the bathrooms. Okay, let me get some ideas. Y'all might not have none, cause I might have confused the heck out of y'all. Uh, good morning, hello. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, good. So I know it's not enough, enough yawn. You might be at work. So I have a dilemma. I don't know, like I gotta just try it, right? So I, my original plan, like I said, was to take the curtains that match the sheet set, because the sheet set, I just figured they ain't never coming in. So I kind of gave up on it, but I know that sheets is gonna look beautiful. So let me go back to my question. 
the sheet set has the curtains to match. I had the curtains first. It was the first curtains I ever made. When I saw the curtains, it was one of my favorite patterns. I said, wow, I'm going to get sheets made. The sheet fabric didn't come in till the day before yesterday. But because they didn't come in, I wasn't thinking about those. I was thinking, well, I took the other curtains down. Now I have, and I traded it with this. This is my, this is my second set of curtains. And now I'm thinking, do I want the whole set in the room to match that? Or do I want to keep the curtains for that and just go back to my original plan, which was to keep them on these curtain, on these windows out here? What y'all think? I'll, I'll sit and I'll wait, somebody. So now, those beauties, see, I really like those. Now, I know one can say, well, you can just get some more curtains made if you really want to match the sheet set. But if I get more curtains made, they got to be different. So, because I don't know if them yellow curtains and blue in there is going to go. I really like it. You know what? I really like these, I think, here. Did I confuse y'all? If you confuse, let me know. I'm just busy. You can't type. I get that, too. So, let's see. Hey, so let's see. So, another thing. This is all, I got a lot of other things. Another thing is, what is another thing? Like, I do want shades. Well, these, let me show you. These lights, I can't really do a shade or a shade, so I gotta do something different. But in the bedrooms, I can, but it's the lighting is already not that great, so that's why I gotta think of something else that will give me lighting, maybe just lighter bulbs. I really don't know what y'all think. Okay, y'all can't think. Okay, that's okay. All right, ladies, so those that are watching this on the replay, let me know what you think. You know, I'm already have to make a choice, and I can always change my choices, so no big deal. Just some thoughts, but I'm excited about. And then also, this is another thing. You need something? The, the other thing is, thank you, just beautiful. She said, just beautiful, don't worry, it's gonna all look good. Thank you, natural cover. Is what fabric am I going to get? See, this is after the curtains go up. Because the curtains got to go up to decide what tablecloths fabric am I going to get for the table. That, that's another thing. And then in here, see, I got the curtains, got the plants. I want the tank to be covered with, I think I'm, I'm going to use the same fabric. And I'm going to have the back of the toilet seat. And then I'm going to have two tall cylinders with some plants in it, the snake plants in there. Yes, okay, Kwame's like, look, I'm trying to work. So yeah, yeah, I like the blue, you like the blue curtains, Tanisha. So Tanisha, do you, what do you, you like the blue curtains here? Then if I put the blue curtains here and then I make the sheet set, is it gonna be okay that I leave these curtains up? Cause they, I mean, I guess I can look, I know they go together, but you know, it's not the whole set, but it looks pretty. So that's what you like. I like the blue curtains too as opposed to putting those in the living room, right? Because I think, I don't think they're gonna capture that look that I want. I'm gonna stay with these. But then I had this idea, I was gonna have the whole set in the room. I was gonna have the whole set. <sighs> the Lambert's. Let me just see how everything looks when it goes up, but I feel lost. I don't feel lost, I feel excited. It's nice to make the, I like the blue curtains, that's just beautiful, thank you. I'm excited, like it's fun and It'll work itself out, and uh, I'll just see. So this is the idea, because now, now, I would like to make curtains for uh, y'all. So, uh, and sheet sets. The sheet set that I'm currently using, let's talk about something else. So we'll let that work itself out. Once the rods get up, I will decide, won't I? Okay, so the sheet sets that I'm currently doing, this is a full sheet set. Most of y'all ain't gonna want no full sheet set because y'all probably got queen size beds. So the, now all the product, this is my idea that by October 1st, my website will be ready for selling. Okay, that's because I still need the whole September because I need inventory. So I want to make, this is a sheet set. That's gonna be a sheet, you see that pattern. I'm gonna offer those. I'm gonna offer just about four sheet set patterns four because I don't, you know, you got to see if you like them and they sell. But I got to make them, and they're all going to be, in the beginning, they're just going to be queen size. 
They're gonna come with a fitted sheet, a top sheet, and four pillowcases. Because us home decor people love the idea of lots of pillows. And for me, I know they, when they usually give you shams, they give you two shams. I like to cover all my pillows with the shams. So I'm just gonna offer four because I just think that's nice. So I'm gonna have this color. That's gonna be a sheet set. This one, oh no, no, I might, you know what? I might choose four others. This is a nice one. I might keep this one and maybe that one, and then we'll choose two others. That's what I'll do. And so, and I'm, I'm making curtains for all the sheet sets. So the curtains will also match the sheet sets. You don't have to buy them, the curtains and the sheet sets together, but just to keep it easy, whatever I make the four sheet sets in, I'm gonna make the four curtains. So now she's making this for me a full, but everything after this is gonna be queens, queen size. So for those that want the curtains, I say, oh, she got the curtains and she got the sheets to match, fine. You can mix and match. I mean, the sets are set. The sets are set. So sheet sets are set and the curtains. And then once the curtains, if I see them selling, whatever, or what's not selling, get rid of those and start getting some new stuff in that could sell. Cause you know, if you can't have stuff that don't sell. Another thing is I'm waiting for the perfection of my robes and my aprons. Well, we got the short aprons and we got the long aprons. The aprons, I should show y'all. The aprons will be available in ones with the button and one that ties. So it just depends on the look. And the, I'll also offer those, the aprons will be in four different fabrics. And the, and the robes will be in four. We'll see, let me see, that's a lot. The aprons may be in three different fabrics and the robes may be in three different fabrics as well. The patch patch, so the fabrics are easy. So that we'll, we'll make choices on fabrics that you would buy. We'll do a little something. So three to four choices until, you know, we get it. So we're gonna have the robe, the aprons, and the sheet sets and the curtains, right? Then if we're successful with the tank covers in the bathroom, then we'll have the tank covers and the seat cover in the Ankara, because that's what she's gonna make. Also, we're gonna be offering the, the tablecloths. I'm making tablecloths to fit my particular tables, the small one in the kitchen and the big one in the dining room. But, and also the small one near the Shanti two-seater love seat. But for you, I'm going to make standard tablecloths or a standard U.S., maybe European table, okay? Because that's what y'all need, it's standard. And also, we're going to make napkins to match. Napkins, to, that's, what, that's what Susie's going to do. She's going to make the tablecloth and the napkins to match the tablecloth. Do we get this? We got it. Now, we got another sister, and her name is Esther too. She's gonna make the placemats. The placemats are gonna be absolutely, there's, there, you're gonna be placemats you've never seen because I'm already coming up with them. She wants me to design them or show her ones I've already seen, but I'm already gonna design it. We're gonna have a variety of placemats. I'm gonna have, I like round placemats because all my tables are round, but you may like square place, placemats. So I'm definitely gonna do round, but I'm also gonna do a few square for you all that need the square. So y'all let me know Y'all, no, it's good. Y'all, let me know if you need, if you want square or round placemats, and uh, yeah, that's the question. Square or round placemats. Also, I just thought about it. Tablecloths would have to be kind of square or rectangle or round. I like round tables, so mine is round, but she easily can make the square as well. So let's talk about choices. Okay. While you go through the house with the camera, I just imagine what my space in Africa would look like. Yes, I love that. The styling of the pieces are right up my alley. Yes. Thank you. Cheryl says, peace and blessings. Say, hey, Cheryl, why don't you try it and see which one you like better? Yes, Tanisha, that's what I, I think I'll do. That's the one I'm going to have to do because I can't make up my mind and they're not up yet. Once the rods come up and them curtains, and that's what I love about I think Afrocentric home decor to me. Like, and I, I think that we talked about this, we talked about this some years ago. Yeah, when we were at the other house. I love that everything can be mixed and matched. Like I could, you can't see the chair, but that I could totally take this chair, take this chair and put it in this room. Or these chairs. Damn nails, damn nails, why are you messing with me? Because you can. 
All right, this isn't going to be that hard. Okay, that I can take these chairs and put them in here because the blue, I match it to the blue wall because the cane, because the little star, like look at just the decorative. And then of course, it fits perfectly. Height-wise, it's right underneath. It's just perfect, so I can mix and match everything, and I love that. Mache, hope I spelled it right. Good rising, queens. Hey, sweetie, you're almost good. You know what? It's Mache, but the K-Y-E is the ch sound. So it's M-A-A-K-Y-E. M-A-A-K-Y-E. Mache. Mache. Every time you see K-Y-E, it's che. Yeah. Perfect at the van. Isn't it beautiful how well it worked out? The cane people, hey, cane on cane. So I just love, thank you, yes. I just love that I could do that. And like I said, the curtains too, you see I already changed it. I had the indinkra symbols up there on the wall. I'll go back to the curtains. I've had these, I've had the ones for those. That's the beautiful part, like if you get bored, thank you, Tamuan. If you get bored, like you just take your same stuff. That's my line for my, my home line. My home line is just about that, that African prints go together. And that oh, Afrocentric home decor, I mean, that laundry basket is stunning. Like, it all goes together. And anytime you get bored or you want to switch it up, you can literally switch up your curtains. I don't see people doing that. Take the curtains from this room and put them in that room. Take the curtains from that room and put them in that room. Or you can switch up your sheets. For those that say, I don't want a whole bunch of African decor, I just want accents, just buy the sheets. That'll accentuate. Okay, the next project for Kwame, don't forget y'all, is the calabashes. He's going to, in, he's going to carve the indinkra symbols in the calabash. And I know for sure, the indinkra, because the, the, the comb indinkra symbol, with, I got the comb, my logo is going to be a comb, the indinkra symbol comb, with uh, a profile of me and my bald head and my head or foot forward uh, coming out of the comb. So I actually want Kwame to do the comb indinkra symbol, I think on these, maybe two, and then we'll do two other indinkra symbols. I still like the Gina Me, so I'm going to get the Gina Me in there as well. If you see these cards, because I've seen them done, they're absolutely stunning, and they bring up the, the calabashes to another level, although they're very stunning already. And I know y'all said y'all wanted the calabashes, so we're going to offer the calabashes plain, and I'm going to offer the calabashes with the indinkra symbols. Wait, that's going to just lift the whole house up. And remember, just in case, if you want to see Kwame's work, he did these carvings, which is, that's the, uh, God, I think that's the peace symbol. I don't, no, it's not the peace. God dang it, I don't remember. I gotta ask him, no, that's the Sankofa, I'm sorry. Those, that, the, the two on the end is the other Sankofa symbol, and that's the gene I mean. And then, remember the little faux pas, because this is my first piece I ever designed was the bed, and, the, and so we got the Indinkra symbols, the gene I mean there, and then the other one, the traditional Sankofa symbol, uh, but you can't see it, and that's a problem. So we're going to add, because I want my headboard to be big, right underneath this thing, we're going to add a headboard on top of this headboard. I got an idea of how it's going to intertwine. It's going to be beautiful. People are going to think I did it on purpose. And we're going to have the headboard right underneath that plug thing, just a little lower. So we have this majestic headboard. And then even with the pillows, the headboard will be above, so you'll see the other indinkra symbols as well. Did I show you the Sankofa bird? I don't feel like I did. And this is the Sankofa bird. And Kwame did that. So the, so the carpenter makes the bed and Kwame does the carvings. Okay, so then. So, but now I want the indinkra, oops, not the indinkra. I want the calabashes. I want the calabashes to be engraved, I mean, I mean carved, y'all, when you see it, I'm just telling you, are gonna be like, oh girl, that's like a whole nother, and then you, the bed, the bed, what do you call it, the headboard, oh wee, oh wee, y'all. Also, y'all, I'm gonna be offering the curtains, because my whole line is Afrocentric home design, so I just, that. I'm gonna be offering the, the uh, curtains for doorways. But that's the thing, you could do what, once you get the curtains, don't even worry, it's not a curtain for doorway. Once you get the curtains, 
that's the beauty of it. You can have the curtains for your doorways. A lot of us like to separate. Some of us have doors, doorways with no doors, but you want to separate. So you can use the curtains for doors. And in a sense, I got a lot of patterns when I think about it, because I have this and think or symbol. You know me, I'm special. I could have put one. Uh, oh, okay, no problem, Kwame. Kwame needs the extension wire thing. Let me make sure he gets it. Hold on, y'all. All right, Kwame, no problem. So we got to let the carpenter, I hate the carpenter, but he's playing the carpenter day, okay? Hold on, I'll hook him up. Oh, Kwame. Yeah, he got to come get it. Here, come get it, because it's, um, I don't know, it's just behind there, remember? Okay. So, so yeah, so that, I think, is, can you get it? I think that is the beauty of the curtains. We're going to talk about this room, too. The beauty of the curtains is that they can be used throughout the house. So, yeah, excited about that. So, let's talk about the curtains in here. So, yeah, so these curtains, so just remember that. I forgot. So I have these because these had the G Nyamin, which is fear, no woman God, or they'll just say, but God. And so we have that pattern. And yeah, I was special. Like I really wanted the curtains. And Susie, when she comes, she's gonna fix that. That one's too short. She says she can add to it, so we're gonna let her do it. I got another style of curtains that I'm actually yes, y'all. Don't mess with me on the curtains, y'all. I got a little, another little thing that I'm about to gonna have her make some other curtains, and we're going to add something to the Add something to the bottom. Y'all going to be like, yes, girl, you are dope. Like, nobody does that. So, yeah, anyway, I really wanted the G Nyamin, G Nyamin because I wanted that symbol right there, and I'll just tell you why. But, yes, I felt like it's two different rooms, so I didn't want one cover cutting for both. I don't see how it's two different rooms. So I have a curtain for this room, and then I have these curtains mm. here, which are equally as beautiful. Now, y'all, I'll tell you what really will look kind of dope. Remember, this. What I, let me tell you what I like about these curtains. Let me tell you what I like. This curtain has the blue in it. Actually, is that the same? Is that the same pattern? Let me go see. No, it's not exactly, but isn't that cool how it, how it could be the same pattern? But that, I want to slip. I love this pattern, and I'll tell you why. This is a complete curtain. Because this one would, would have been great in a living room. Because it covers the, the kente feel, and it also has the blue. This would have took care of the two living rooms, curtains, and then it would have matched a little more with that on the two bathroom doors. Don't even worry about it. You hear the construction. It's real life here. So, yes. Let me move this. But yeah, so that those would be actually perfect. Because we have the blue, it would have the kente, it would be good. But, you know, there's lots of curtains, and I only got two curtains, so that's it. You see the breeze? Got the music going. <laughs> so breezy and blowing. I love life right now. Life is good. And the rods that I made, the rods I designed, real rods, real rods. I designed the rods. I thought of the rods. I'm so proud of them rods. Now, this is the Ashanti room. And because, because a lot of people have been watching. Hallelujah, I'm nothing. Kwame again. The carpenter made the armoire, they call it wardrobe here, and Kwame carved the indinkra symbols into the furniture. So, we're going to be doing that a lot. So, yeah, so I want now the calabashes. That one's small because that's all they have, but I want the big one back because I like all three of them big. We're going to carve the indinkra symbols in the calabashes as well. And I'm going to do this, all three, the Jinyamin, the, uh, the Sankofa, and that's the symbol of peace and the peace. And they're going to be dope, like, ooh, like all three of them on the calabash. Ooh. And then this small calabash, let me tell you what I'm going to do with that small calabash. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. That small calabash, because remember, calabash holds water. I'm a, there's a, uh, like a stand you can have. I'm going to put the calabash on there with some water in there. They got covers for the calabash. Cover it up, lay some some towels, 
inside the stand. You wait, the stand is dope. I'm gonna design it. I saw something like it, but now I realize so the towels can lay underneath there. That's just gonna be just, that's just gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. So, cause I'm keeping that small one, but that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do with the small calabash is use it like that. So yeah, I'll have the three and that'll be beautiful. And then here, remember, so I, the furniture was already the furniture. They had a sample of this set. And if you know the living room piece is part of the set. Sorry, all the stuff on it, but you know, we this is this is this is the creative room. This is where I sketch. You know, these are my robes. It's actually two robes. I'm gonna actually today or tomorrow, if I have time tomorrow, today, but tomorrow probably, I'm gonna get the dress forms of the dummies or the mannequins. That's actually the mannequins that's shaped. I'm gonna buy another one for this side so I can put my stuff on it so we can see it. But these are the two robes that I designed, one and that's the other one. But when you get this set, it's hollow. There's nothing, it's, the pills are there, but you get to choose your fabric. So I chose this kente cloth, which kente print, and then I decided to match the curtains. It's two panels, two and two, but when I went to get more fabric to do those two, she didn't have it. She ran out, but it was okay because I felt like if it was too much kente for the other two. So I put these, because you know, I got so many extra things. I put these, oh, that's right, so I, only, I should only have, no, wait, where did I get these? These, are those the ones for the bed? Let me see, are those these? Yes, so how many panels? One, two, okay, what is this? That's one, two, three, four, five six i'm trying to figure this out why i got six when i still got those two how did i do that how do i have so much of this thing fabric i'm puzzled because if i had i put four panels here and then i would put two here so i'm not sure why i got these unless i think maybe i had these and maybe they were there and then I switched them. I don't know, but apparently I got one, two, three, that's six. It should be four on the window. I got a lot of these, as you can see. I think I had those, they were over here and I switched it up. I did, that, that's what it was. I, I distinctly remember. I was going for, I was like, oh, we gonna have there, we gonna have it on the bed, we gonna have, and it was like, no, it's overkill. So that's what these are. So, but I like this here, it just gives it a little something, the green, it goes and I go, I love it. So, like I said, these two are going over the bathroom. Now, you might ask, ask, why, if I got doors to the bathroom, why would I want to put fabric? Because, first of all, when you're in that bathroom, it's so little, especially the toilet room, that you close that door, and your guests, they can't, you can't even breathe in there, like it's no air, like it's the window, but it's no air, y'all. So I thought it would be nice that the, even if you had the door open, you still have privacy. Plus, I'm also doing it for just visual color. I don't really love the doors as much, so I think having the curtains is just stunning and beautiful. And I think the bathroom will be the same. And what I'll do, like I said, I'm gonna have a sign design to put toilet room and bathroom or bathhouse. Something cool, something dope. Uh, on top of each bathroom so people know exactly which one. I mean, people, because one day I'm gonna invite people over. But yeah, but yeah, I picked out this print and then I, I went and did it on the, the thing, but it was too matchy-matchy. It was, it was a little overwhelming. So that's why I'll be switching stuff up because like I'm loving the idea of, I'm loving the idea of these blue curtains with the blue sheet set, but and, and I do it and be like, Lord, what did I just do, you know? So I'm trying to keep it together here. So this is my home and I'm excited and I love to hear that sound because stuff is happening. The next piece of construction, I keep telling you about it, but it's really gonna happen. This is carpenter, you got I mean, one carpenter. You can't find no damn carpenter. Shelving, look at my bags. My bags, they need to be shelved and my shoes are under there too. 
And then this one is more bags. Yeah, look at the bags. It's a bag situation. Okay, this is my yoga mat. I'm not going to get that. Oh, I forgot to let her wash that. Damn it. But anyway, it's supposed to just hold my suitcase. This is supposed to be for suitcases, but the bags are in there. This is why the shelving is going to be so important to shelve. Hold on. To shelve. So let's pray for the shelving. And so basically, I got too much of this. I got too much of this fabric right here because I've only got, I got six really eight panels. I'm only going to use, oh, that's good. I can give it, I'm going to use four. So I'll just have two more left because that one's being used. That, that'll that work because I got to do two panels on each door and then also two panels on each outside window. So that's fine. I'm just doing about this. So that'll take up four right there. Four, got the, got the idea of the Indinkra, the blue for the blue wall. Like I said, once we get that, uh, the yellow in here, I, I, I'm looking at the yellow, and when I look in here, it looks like a hole, it looks all pale. So I'm gonna get a nice, just so it could show up on the camera, I was gonna get the same yellow here for the kitchen, and I still probably will, it looks a little better there, but I'm gonna get a, the, the same yellow in here for the kitchen. I want that started more than later. Um, I'm gonna get the blue paint that's for here. I'm gonna test it because I don't want it to, the color to change so much that it's not that same vibe. But clearly you can see that the painter did a horrible job and the old paint is coming through the blue. So I, I, gotta, I gotta repaint to y'all, I got to. And like the good part is I'm gonna be staying here until I buy property or, or land. So I have no problem painting myself and painting the painter to have the beautiful blue. And, and I asked for the colors. I wanted yellow and blue like the other house, just different yellows and different blues. And that's it. So here I'm not, I got, the, I got the beautiful mirror on the wall. It was a lot smaller, but I asked for could he make it bigger. I got that picture and that's it. I got that G99 over the door. You know me, I don't want a lot of stuff on the wall. Let's talk about that. The, the art that I'm investing in now is going to be in the living room. So let's talk about this. Once I have the headboard, I'm not even sure if I want to want art on top of the headboard. I think the headboard will bring the eye up, and that'll be enough. Where something is needed, and I thought I was going to do another mirror, and I still might, because you got this little chair. We definitely, I'm going to do two things. If, if I really want it, but I'm trying to get a lot of stuff, but there's something missing with just that, that little chair there. So definitely an art piece, gotta go here. Could be a mirror, but I wanted an art piece. And then even on the side of these chairs could be some end tables, thank you, with some height, maybe the peacock feathers. Something could be here, but again, you know me, I don't want a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, I'm over the lot of stuff. But a picture or something there, or another mirror. And then this room will be complete. I don't want a lot of things, you know, it's perfect. We got the plants, if anything, I want some more plants. This room is easy. We only got a few things to do, y'all. We don't have a lot, because we don't want a lot. And, you know, some people might say it's a lot, but you know what, I was looking at some of my old videos, because I don't know why, I uh, have it popped up, and I was looking at my old video, y'all, and I was just like, why? And I had a lot of stuff up in that house. Like, I, I definitely don't want that again. Not, not that I love that apartment. I loved all my apartments. I, the one I shared with the ex, that was a beautiful, that, when I look at that space, that was one of the nicest visual apartments was the loft one, uh, to me. The high ceilings, the floors, the little nook. Like, when I look at that, and I decorated that whole, that place was, and had the laundry closet, like, that was dope. The kitchen was dark, but I still loved it. I thought it was a very nicely constructed. Now, I'm going to go back. Let's talk about because I started really decorating at not the place that you first met me on YouTube with. Not the place in, uh, it was in Oakland, but it, it was the house that I rented. That was mostly colors and a lot of plants and it had a lot of brightness. I loved that. I did that one nicely, too. That was my first, I didn't really give myself credit for that, but that apartment was beautiful, that house that I was renting. And then the loft with my, those were my exes, most of his stuff, but I made it work. And then, uh, and then I guess, okay, and then the townhome, I did the townhome. I'm not a townhome girl anymore, but I worked it, but I really kind of, I think I'll 
starting to go too far because I was just that I needed to create. I needed more space. So I, I don't want to do that again, although I still think it was beautiful. I thought that orange glow wall was amazing. That blue midnight blue wall was amazing. The green wall, the stuff I had on it, like I loved it. It was beautiful. Everything's a vibe. You know, you just match. I mean, you're in a different space mentally, physically, and spiritually. The house requires something different. I, I like tranquility. I'm really about the peace. I like the movement of the air blowing. That's why I'm so into the curtains. And I, I feel like the curtains are now, the curtains and the sheets have really become my color or my artwork. That's just, to, you know, in this house. I love my vases. They have the genie on me on the vases, but see, I they put that on. I, I wouldn't have chose those pots to put the genie on me on since it's gold because you can't see it, but it's there and that's what really counts. And I love this, so underestimated, but oh my God, I, this is probably one of my favorite. It's my favorite laundry basket that I think I've ever had. I know it's just something about it. It's the shape has that Moroccan feel. Somebody asked me if I would make it to Morocco. No, because I came to Ghana, was supposed to leave in two weeks, go home for 10 days to the state and go to Morocco. Morocco shut down, the pandemic came, but I still got the ticket to Morocco and they say I could leave from anywhere. So I actually will be going to, when the, when the borders open back up again, since I got a ticket to Morocco, they said it don't matter, you can change the destination of where you're leaving. I'm gonna leave from Ghana to Morocco and Morocco back to Ghana. So I will be going to Morocco. But I figure, since I'm not coming from the States to Morocco, that should be another extra ticket. So if so, uh, me and Kwame, I wanna buy some stuff for the, uh, for the boutique in Morocco as well. So yeah, maybe Kwame will come, we'll see. But Morocco is gonna happen, and that gives me that feel. So I really, I really like that. And that's the cane table. I didn't know what to do with it. I thought, oh no, I bought it for nothing. And it's going to be great for the plants and I'm going to get more. And in this, I designed this, for those that may not know, I designed this vanity set. And I didn't design these, the, uh, the chairs. They were already like this, but I brought them from the living room and I changed the Ashanti stools to here. And I love it, y'all. Now, y'all, I saw this rug type of rug thing, but I I think it's a rug. I saw it at the corner of my eye a few times. I tried to show Kwame. He wasn't paying attention, so he don't know. But it's made like the cane, but it, it goes on the floor. I would love it because I don't want a rug. I don't want that ruggy material. I want the lightness. And it's like the, kind of like the cane, like, but it goes on the floor. And it's beautiful, y'all. It's like I saw round ones. So I would like one in here, just maybe right in this area. Just, it's beautiful, it's just simple and it's not gonna take away. And then one in that room, cause that room, that floor is a little cold. Like not cold in, in feel, but cold looking. So, so yes. So yeah, y'all, so when, thank you. I wanna say thank you first of all. You like my shirt, I love Africa. I got it yesterday at the Bar Center. So, I hope that after all this, because it's going to be a lot. That takes longer because you got to cut every one. It takes a while, and I know it does, but I really hope we go out to have some lunch. Or, you know, we're going to have dinner because my mahogany is always open. It's open to like 8, so I want to eat. And uh, give thanks. Give thanks. Yes. I'm excited, y'all. Like, things are happening. So October 1st is when I want. I got a website, so it's not when the website is going to be up. It's when the stuff going to go on. You know, for a moment, y'all, and I was like, well, they're going to get mad. But last night before I was going to bed, Spirit was saying, like, hey, just don't worry about selling everybody else's stuff, and all the except for the Senegalese and leather bags, because those are so unique. I'm going to talk about that. If you got a few minutes, give me a chance to talk about that, then I'll get off. Uh, but I really want to focus, yes, I want to focus on myself. I want to focus on my yoga clothes, the aprons, the, the, the uh, robes, the sheets. The, everything for the home that I designed, the placemats, the sheets, the curtains, that's the main focus. Eventually furniture, you know, definitely around selling around the world. Uh, but, and then of course, I'm gonna add in the dolls, cause I do have some dolls, the, the chains, 
uh, the Senegalese purses, the only thing with them is he only gets one of each. So when I put those on the website, if you don't, if you, when you see it, buy it. There's no two, there's no three, there's no other one. That's, that's it. That's most of the leather uh, dealers, I mean, mostly the Senegalese uh, that sells the bags, they only have one. You will never see two, you will never see that one again. So you, that's why when I see, that's why I bought seven in three days. Okay, it must have been eight because I got nine. So maybe eight in three days. I, I did it because I knew that there was none, no, no more of that. But they're all unique. They're all beautiful. So I'm definitely going to have the leather bag. I think they go with the, my, my feel here. And they made in Africa. They made in West Africa. We make leather. It's not this Italian leather. Who knows if Italian leather is coming from Africa. I mean, I can tell your stories. But it's made in Africa. So that's beautiful. So, yeah, but of course, I'm still going to, and I want to design my own clothes. But, that, okay, all the bell-bottom stuff is on because I love it, you love it. And uh, some of the pieces, but mostly it's going to be my original designs after a while. Uh, and I'm excited. So I think I could do well. I think the robe, I think the sheets, I think everything's going to do well. I think everything's going to do well. I'm going to start designing my own mirrors. I'm going to design all kinds of stuff. But everything for the home I'm about that life. Everything for the home. The brothers, the, the house of brothers, earrings. Yes, we'll have some. I want earrings to be special, and his are. The uh, bracelets with the Thinker symbols, the brass, the coppers. Everything that you can't get anywhere, that's what I want to sell. So, but the dolls are beautiful. I, I don't know if I showed you the dolls lately. I had the dolls. The dolls are just gorgeous. And I don't really even have a place to display the dolls, so I'm definitely going to be selling the dolls. I mean, I don't have one place. Maybe I could put a shelf somewhere and put the dolls on it. Like, I don't really have a place for the dolls anymore. The dolls, but the dolls are gorgeous. Like, I don't, I want a place for the dolls. I don't want to put them on a bag because I don't know. Like, we'll see. We'll see. And, uh, yeah. So, I want to thank you so much, so much. So, YouTube's acting strange. Some people say they can't get on. I'm trying to monetize and or like just put information inside the description box i'm having a hard time doing it because it says the data is currently unavailable but a few people got it and youtube is like it's fixing it so bear with youtube they're not perfect but they what we got all right so i will be tuning in when kwame's finished that might be later this evening and we will look at the curtains up there and see how beautiful it is oh that's right and i missed a few comments so let me make sure i get it Yes, that's my Che. Yes. Yes, that's the my, my Che. You got it. Uh, Bijou. So, yes. So, let's just go. Perfect at the vanity. Yeah, isn't it pretty to cheer? Thank you, Tamu. Bijou says, my Che. There you go. M A A K Y E. Yes. Tamu Ayan says, oh, beautiful. Hey, Candace Thomas. Greetings, Lisa Marie. Will you carry any decor that is not geometrical? You mean geometrical, geometrical. So when you say that, I, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you mean they got a lot of pattern in it? You mean will I carry solid colors? Girl, explain, sister, explain that to me. I don't know what that, because I know you're an artist. I don't know all the terms, geometrical. So you mean like with lots of patterns in it? Because I want to address that. It's a great question if you're asking it. Let me know. Hello, Lisa Marie. Your home decor is, again, is a breath of fresh air this morning. Such beautiful designs. Thank you, Sheila. Naturally Clever says, just looks so beautiful. Thank you. Listen that you're talking about more plants. I know, honey. Nature has won. You're right. You are a gifted and talented being. Thank you for sharing your life. Thank you. So are you. Grand Rise, Lisa Marie, and me, Hente. Hey, Omafuke, how are you? You two no longer sense no I know. Only via phone and app. That's a shame. It's based on a grid like the Kinti Prince. Oh, right. Yeah, I, okay, yeah. So am I, I don't know. I mean, that's a great call. So, because let me tell you, somebody asked me to say, somebody said, will you, do you, like, will you do the curtains in the solid colors? Will you do, uh, will you do, okay, good. Now it's a cover, got a good, that's good. A notification, good. Or the sheets in solid colors, or the, even my, my, yoga wear or my aprons or my robes right no no let me just say no not that i don't think solid colors are amazing and like oh my god like solid colors or 
patterns that don't I don't think so I love I really it's important to me that my line is Afrocentric no it's African so I want my fabrics to be African I am that one like I'm that design it's got to be it's got to be colorful it's got to be colorful and patterned but I love it the idea let me just don't get me wrong I think an all red or all blue flowing curtain I think it would be beautiful I think a yellow curtain like don't get me wrong I don't even not think that would be beautiful I think it would be gorgeous. Can you imagine you just do your house in colors and don't have no pattern? I think that would be dope. Like, don't even, it just, it's not my aesthetic, but I'd have nothing against it. That's why I'm adding in the, the red, the yellow, and the green uh, Ghana color flag with the, with the spice holders or the tea bag holders. And I also added that kitchen. Like, that might be the one room, like, if I was to do the curtains again, I would probably, because I like the theme. So let me just say, the kitchen would be where I would do a solid red, yellow, and green. Although I probably would still mix them in, in, in the, you know, as panels in the, cur in the kitchen. But I could see that being the red, gold, and green, or the red, yellow, and green room. I could totally see it. Um, I need them to be African. I don't know. That's just something. That's just something. It's my aesthetic. And it's what I want. And it's what I want to celebrate. I am. Some people are not going to like my line because it's so patterned and so colorful. But in all honesty, it's more, it's me. Like for you, I always was the colorful, pattern-like, different person. And, you know, I, you know some people would like me criticizing it. So I, I, I'm going to probably keep it all African. But for those that want to make solid sheets or solid curtains or non-geometrical patterns i mean if there's i'm just picking out the patterns i like that africa has to offer if africa offers some pattern that's not geometrical then i would probably and i liked it i would get it so i i, I didn't even know i was picking the geometrical see i didn't even know i was just picking out fabrics that i love and that's why i was saying like for a lot of y'all you're not going to have the whole house with all the curtains that I got and all the colors and the, and the different patterns, but you might get one curtain or you might get one sheet set. You know what I'm saying? Or you might get, you know what I'm saying? Whatever that is for you, it doesn't have to be everything. You know, guys used to say a lot of people are afraid to wear fully African clothes in the States. That her clients always say, oh, I don't know if I can wear all of that, like a pant, the top, and the shirt, and the... And the head wrap like they just so she says we'll get a top and wear it with your jeans you know get the bottom and wear it with a tank top which i often do because sometimes i want that solid color and i want that pattern so i play with tank tops or something like that to give it i can understand how everybody don't really want it okay that's a good point well then definitely yes that not yes yes mm-hmm like the, the, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, for sure. And even the dress that Esther made with the flowers. Oh, yeah. It's all of it. It's all of it. The tag, yeah, yeah, for sure. Because that's still African to me, but it's not, yeah, geometrical. I got it. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking that. Like I said, I really choose, I ain't even knowing the geometric. I don't even know about it. Like, I'm one of them people. I like it when Rosie Perez said, uh, when she became a, a choreographer and she didn't say so she didn't know all the like purettes or the relevé. She said, just do that. And just I didn't know the names. I just knew how to say that thing. I don't know all the patterns. Because I'm not, that's not my, I'm not trained like that. Mine is my eye and what I like. And if that's it. It's that simple. So I yes, if that's what if I already did it with the robe and the, and the uh, apron, then yes, I will be offering that because I like that, and that's what I do. I let Esther. I say Esther, you pick out the patterns. So yeah, I, I like it. So yeah, if I like it, it's gonna be on it. If it's coming from Africa, I'm gonna really like it. You continue to live out loud and express through your works. It's definitely going to speak to those who love it. We just see the beauty of it all. Thank you. Prince similar to the right. Yes, I love you because you are being you. Thank you, Lisa B. Tablet and laptop. My little one is on. I am in Europe though. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
I finally got you live. Yahoo, yes, need to replay. Have a blessed day. Color is beautiful. Thank you. Master cover via Gmail on your phone. Okay, good. You're talking. I got one. Okay, yeah, so that is how I'm one of them people. Like my daughter, I remember when I first sketched, but my daughter went to school for design. She's so like, Mom, you know, if you use it, you got to press harder so people could see it. You know, they have something on the app and you can use the app. And it, it, it did. And you know, you want it to be, so when you do your sketches, and she was saying all this technical stuff, I'm listening because, you know, she, I, she done, I, done, I done paid college and she paid. And I thought I should listen. And she's like, So yeah, I really hope that, you know, I really hope, um, you know, she takes proper. I really hope that, you know, the, the woman can actually, you know, see the sketches and understand it, you know, because they have, you know, you can do it online and da, 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 da. honey, them sketches, that the sketch was the apron and the roll. Did she not nail that ish? Did she not nail it? And that's when I knew that sometimes, yeah, you can go to school and I think there's nothing wrong with that. My daughter's in school and I love her ideas. And sometimes it's the divine, most high creator. And it's like, look, I know you don't sketch, but that's what I, I, I also I always like to say people, I sketched this vanity. I sketched this vanity. And he got it. He's like, yeah, I see it. Okay, got it. Do it. And was exactly to the T. So whatever you do, let spirit move you. Don't feel like you can't be a designer because you don't know. Like, I didn't even know geometric. I didn't even know it was a difference from the stuff. And with the colors, I just see the colors, I see the pattern, I see where it could go, I just do it. Like that's it, I see in colors, and I do see in patterns, because I do see the shapes. And that's how I match it, be like, oh, that top could go, because look at the shape. Is... And I just want to tell you for you, like, I will always say, I have no training, there's no pro, I've never sketched before I got here, ever. I didn't even try to sketch. I never sketched. I was not considered a designer. I've never been to school. I know what I like. I know what brings me joy. I know what makes me happy. And I know what goes together for me. And that's my design aesthetic. It's like, push it, push it. People don't think this go together. See, I was that little girl, like I told you, I'll never forget. I used to hang out in Greenwich Village, and I used to wear bright colors. I don't know if I had patterns yet, but I was into bright colors. And I remember the Southern woman said to me, you know you too black for all that red. Like I said all the time. Why are you wearing that yellow? You so black. Like that was crazy to me. I could, he was a young woman. I used to think, but isn't I, I'm the black one? Isn't that the one that should be wearing the colors? Like I didn't understand how they didn't understand that when you black when and they meant dark. When you black, you should wear bright colors. Like I, I and then of course. We start seeing in the models and essence, even with doing it, which is great. Even white folks, they will put the, the darkest models in the brightest colors. Like, they knew that. I used to just stop by white people, like, I love the colors you wear. Um, it doesn't look good because I'm white. Like, they knew, but they knew that they, they, white folks got that one. They know that color look good on that dark skin model. I used to think like, oh my God, like color. So I mean, like seriously, color was, yeah, nobody, it wasn't popular. We had all them colors, we had all them colors for. Yeah. And then when I found African family, that was the end of that, that was it. I was like, hey, I felt like that I popped. Like, I don't think I look good in browns and black. Like, I don't, I look like you lost me. Like, you don't even see me if it ain't bright. And then patterns, it's because black people are so afraid of them. That's why I want them to do it. And it's not just me, uh, it was Nashona, the, the uh, Tanzanian one. She said, you in North Carolina, you the only one gonna walk down the street with the whole outfit. Ain't nobody else gonna do it. That's why I love you, I make stuff for you. So she had this going pieces. Could you get an African belt? Maybe we'll just do a little head wrap. Maybe just a purse. Black people were afraid. And then God has said the same thing. Like she couldn't sell a whole outfit. She had to sell a piece of the outfit. So it's an issue. It's an issue with black people to wear bright colors. It's almost like to, remember it was, I remember it was an African guy was saying, when you stop putting oil on your skin, remember, you can't be oily. I don't know, but it's funny, but you can't be ashy either in the black race. You can't be oily, you can't be ashy. So we're afraid. It was a Muslim brother that said, that's why right, shine that black up and let them know how proud you are. Because I guess when you're dark, you're not supposed to be proud of being dark. So you wouldn't shine your skin up. People are going to think you like yourself. I'm breaking all of them norms. And I hope to do it with my design. Like I said, when somebody sent me an article, it was a great article, but it was the African designers 
that was so happy that Vogue and all these other places was accepting them as designers because they're just not Ankara, mud cloth, or kente cloth. That's not the only thing that comes from the continent. That's all they can do. So when I saw that, I was like, ooh, it's like that acceptance of you know who, those people that they can, now you can just make clothes that just has regular silks and stuff. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I think you should design your ass off and whatever make you feel good. But since y'all African designers ain't really trying to mess with the African stuff, I'm going to mess with the African stuff or what we perceive to be. Like, yeah, I mean, one day I am going to start designing with the mud cloths and the, and the, and the, oh my God, just some of the stuff, I, some of the things I want to do with the Cuba cloth and I got an idea for a place about the Cuba cloth anyway, but I ain't seen nobody do it, so I'm about to tear that Cuba cloth off and do some, so yeah, I, I think it's, I, that's me, and I will do this for the rest of my life as far as push that African stuff, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you into that African stuff very much. But if, if that robe, yeah, the robes with the flowers, I love that. I do love that. That's non-geometrical. I love that look, too. And that was great because being in Africa changes what you think of African stuff, right? African fact. I agree with you. I agree with you that it's, it's a difference, and I love it. But in my mind, it's all African. So, yeah. So let's have some fun, and let's push the line. I think I'm going to be successful. This is my only, it's not a worry, but it's something that I think might happen. I probably, I think people that may not be black probably will buy more of my stuff once it hits the targets and the whole bit. Because I think they're just going to see a beautiful garment. I think they're going to see a beautiful garment, and I think they're going to buy it. And I hope that black people will, I know y'all all will buy, I think black people will buy. I think those, I think those, those aprons are, and those, um, and the robes are luxurious. I think anybody would want to own at least one. But, yeah, so that's our thing. That has been my study since I, That's right. Oh, I know you, Queen. Truly, Marie. We messing with Africa. So, yes, you have a doctorate in life. Yes, Candace. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Oma Funke says, I say, oh, naturally clever. We see the beauty of it all. When designing our homes, apartments, you'll see something to say, that would be perfect if this went that way and this was another way. Exactly, right? That's what's so nice about designing. Yes. Right. And I, that's, and I think a lot of people will. And that's, yeah, but, but I do love, I mean, what, thank you for Candace bringing up to me that this is something different. This isn't, she's right. Now I can see how this is not geometrical. This is, I don't know what it is. It's just pretty. That's you know what I mean. It's just beautiful. And then this patch patch is just you know y'all know I fell in love with the patch patch. But I know why I fell in love so much with the patch patch. I think I fell in love with the patch patch because it really is as I call it African quilting. And I love African quilts, so that helped. Let's see what Kwame's doing. Let me see. Let's go see. Let's break it up a bit. This is a long video. Hey, Kwame. Coming along? Okay, I will. Tell me what you want me to come see. Okay, uh huh. Right. Oh, yeah. Is that the, is it like even across, you say? Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what you asking me? Tell me. So you want to know that? Uh huh. Uh, I need to come down a bit. Come down. Yeah. But this is good, but you want to make sure you got that. Yeah, yeah. see, there you go. That's it. I want? Yeah. You want to put the next one in the right place, right? Okay, I'm mm -hmm. going to get off this and help you. Okay? No, no. So, I just want to get in there. Right, you want to make sure it's, le it's even, right, and leveled. Okay, well, put it inside of it. Because it's supposed no, to go. It was, yeah, it's just sitting inside of it. I want to see the level. Right. Let's see. No, I think it's a little high. You know what? I think it has to come down on this end. This has to come down so mm -hmm, the way I see it, and I can see it through here. Yeah, I think it's still on the right. has to come down so. Yeah, come down. It's too low. It's too low? All right, let me get off here, and we'll decide, okay, so I can really look at it. And thank you for asking to, all right, y'all, real decisions is being made here. So I got to go handle that. But I love y'all, and I will see you all uh, in the next video uh, with everything done, hopefully. All right.